Hello everyone, my name is Olivia and today I wanted to take you around my room to show you the artwork that I have hanging around in different spots because a couple of people on Instagram and Twitter have asked me if they can see my art a little bit closer in detail rather than seeing it in the background of my videos and they also wanted to know where I obtain all the art for my room. So I'm going to take you around my room to show you my different pieces of art that I have and this is always changing. I'm always changing out different pieces of art in my room because I might get tired of it and want to put something new or I might obtain a new print that I really want to display so I will always be switching out art from my room but for now this is going to be a little art tour if you will. Let's start with the door behind me. I created this art collage to kind of display the different postcards that I have gotten when I go to different cities, when I go to bookstores. So this is a hodgepodge of different postcards and photos that I have collected throughout the years and we're going to start from the top go to the side and kind of go down like that. So at the top here, we have a postcard that came along with an art print that I got from someone on Instagram who I used to follow and they specialize in pinup type of art. Next to that little print is a postcard of Elizabeth Taylor, which I got from the Strand Bookstore. The Strand Bookstore is going to be a heavy supplier of most of the prints on this collage because they have such a wide variety of postcards to pick from at their bookstore. And I always go to that section to pick out different things to Add to my collage. Next to that postcard is a photo that I took myself when I was in Puerto Rico. They had a Casablanca themed hotel so I took a photo of it, made it black and white, printed it out, and I think it's really pretty as well. And over here we have my coveted photo of me meeting Oscar Isaac in New York City. It is just my pride and joy. Below that we have a Hamilton inspired postcard where Hamilton has a black eye and I got this from a stationery store in New York City but I cannot remember the name of it and I'm pretty Pretty sure the Strand bookstore supplies this postcard as well. Beside that is another postcard from the Strand. Up here below my Casablanca photo that I took is a Casablanca postcard that one of my pen pals gave me. She is from Portugal, her name is Kat, and she hunted around her area to get me a Casablanca postcard and I love it so so much. Below that is a postcard of James Dean which is also from the Strand bookstore as well as a Marilyn Monroe postcard of her reading and as well well, from the Strand bookstore is another postcard of Audrey Hepburn. Can you tell that I like collecting old Hollywood photography? Here is another postcard from the Strand bookstore and this is of Marilyn Monroe and I thought this photo was just very haunting and I can write a whole essay about this photo in particular. Beside that is a postcard that I got from a restaurant in New York City that sadly closed. Beside that is a pop art postcard that I also got, you guessed it, from the Strand. Here is a Jimin photo card that my friend Hannah got for me because Jimin is my bias from BTS. Then we have another Marilyn Monroe photo that I got. Towards the bottom I have a photo of the Eiffel Tower that actually just came with a frame. It was like the placeholder photo and I really liked it so I hung it up. And beside it is a really beautiful postcard from Howl's Moving Castle which I got over on Redbubble. The postcard beside it is also from Redbubble and it is a VHS of Goodfellas which is also one of my favorite movies of all time. As well as the postcard beside that that one as well as the Little Women movie poster type of thing that I got. I got them all as the size of a postcard because I knew I wanted to add it to this collection and I all wanted them to be uniform in size. Lastly are two postcards that I got from a bookstore. They are both from the same art collection which was a collection of different postcards of different bookstores around the world. So this postcard I think is of a bookstore or a library in Canada and this one is not a bookstore but it is a scene in Venice and I love Venice so much and I wish I could visit it again so I wanted to get a postcard to hold my memories of my time where I was in Italy. Now let's move on to my desk area. This art piece was a recent addition to my room and it was made for me by my pen pal Leah and she is just like the most thoughtful gift giver in the world. She embroidered a very unique piece of art for me that is very particular to my taste and it is just such a beautiful piece of art that hangs up on the wall that my desk is in front of. So the art is of me wearing one of my favorite dresses in the world. We have me surrounded by all my favorite plants that I own as well as some little touches that are very unique to my personality in the frames that she has. This is one of my favorite art pieces in my room. I think it is one of the most beautiful things that anyone has ever given me and I am just forever grateful that she put so much thought and care and like knowledge of me into this piece of art and it made it so 
personal and beautiful. It's just like one of the most touching things that anyone has ever given me. This is a weird angle to capture one of the pieces of art in my room, but it is right above my bookshelf and it is a postcard of Hannibal and Will. After watching hours and hours of Hannibal last year, I really wanted to get myself a piece of fan art to have in my room because it quickly became one of my favorite shows of all time. So like I do with all shows and movies that I love, I went straight to Redbubble to look up Hannibal fan art. Because Redbubble is one of my favorite places to go to to find unique art centered around pieces of pop culture that I really love. And one of my dear friends, Marnie, got it for me for my birthday because she knew I really wanted to get an art piece of Hannibal for my room. And I love it so much because it has like this 3D, very haunting effect. And I love the structure where it looks like a movie poster. Another weird angle where I have a couple of pieces of art is right above this bookshelf. I have a pixelated cloud poster board that I got as well from Redbubble. And above it, I have a piece of art that I actually drew myself, which is a bunch of different house plants that I have in my house. I was just getting into digital art in the beginning of lockdown in the 2020. So I wanted to be able to draw some of my favorite plants. And I am actually selling some of those prints over on my website if you want to check it out because they are still available to buy. Over on my dresser, I have a frame housing one of my other art prints, which is a pumpkin spice digital art piece that I made last year around Halloween time. I had this idea of having a cartoon pumpkins chilling in a pumpkin latte. So I decided to go for it and just draw it myself digitally. So I did that and that is also available on my website and I really am proud of this drawing and it brings me so much joy because I think it is just so cute. In my bookshelf is an art print that my friend Roxanne got for me and she is a booktuber as well and she is at the Novel Sanctuary so I'll be sure to link her channel down below. She got me this as a surprise during Book Expo or Book Con and it was just so nice and so thoughtful because all my friends know that I am obsessed with bees. So she got me a You're the Bees Knees art print and I adore it and it is just so beautiful and I love having it in the back my bookshelf because I don't have books here to take up space so it's not only a bookshelf but like a place to display art as well. This is one of my favorite spots to film and it's also one of the places where I change my art the most often. You will always see something different here because I have so many different art prints that I want to display in my room but I don't have the space to do it all at once so every once in a while I will change out my art and put something different in these types of frames and right now it is a poster that I got from Redbubble and it is a Casa Blanca fan art poster. It's a very minimalistic design. It has a really beautiful glossy finish and I love it because I wanted to get some very minimalistic designs inspired by my favorite movies and I easily found this over on Redbubble and I think it is just absolutely stunning. And now we only have two more sections in my room full of art and I am very excited to get to them because those are like my favorite sections as well. On the wall that my bed is beside has one of the biggest pieces of art in my room and it is a map from Mapiful who I previously worked with over on my Instagram years ago and in exchange I was able to get a poster from them and you can customize it to any location in the world so I decided to pick out Havana Cuba which is where my dad was born and right above my bed is my Hollywood art collage so I wanted to create a framed collage above my bed as a statement piece in my room and I wanted it to have the same kind of color scheme where it's mostly black and white and I wanted it to be centered around Hollywood so I have a poster poster of Dirty Dancing which was gifted to me by my best friend because throughout high school we re-watched Dirty Dancing repeatedly and it was just one of our favorite movies of all time so she decided to get me a poster of it for one of my birthdays and now it is in my movie collection. Above it is another print that my best friend got for me and it is a print of Lauren Bacall. Lauren Bacall is one of my favorite actresses from old Hollywood. She's just an absolute inspiration to me and I can talk about her for days upon days. I named one of my favorite plants after her and she's just such a big inspiration for me. So my best friend got me a print of her doing her signature look and I just think she's the prettiest person in the world. Beside Lauren Bacall is a really cool print that I got from Redbubble for Inception and Inception is one of my favorite movies of all time and I really wanted to get some fan art of Inception to hang up in my movie type of collage that I have here and I thought this print was just so unique because it not only followed the color scheme that I was going for but it also features one of my favorite scenes in Inception when the street is bending over it. and I just think that scene in Inception 
Station is one of my favorite scenes in the history of movies in general. So I'm so happy that I was able to find a piece of art centered around that specific scene in one of my favorite movies. Beside the Inception print is a photograph of Haiti Lamar. After watching a documentary on Netflix called Bombshell centered around Haiti Lamar's life and how she was not only a Hollywood actress but a very profound inventor whose inventions and innovations were ignored for years upon years and she never really got the recognition that she deserved, I absolutely fell in love with her as a person and her story is just so interesting so I highly recommend that you check out that documentary because I think it's one of the best ones that I've seen centered around someone in old Hollywood. So my best friend knows how much I love Haiti Lamar and so she decided to buy a photograph of Haiti Lamar from Ziegfeld Girls. She's in this gorgeous galaxy type of dress with stars crowning her and it's one of the prettiest shots that I've seen in an old Hollywood movie so she kindly gifted me a photograph of that scene from that movie and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And last but not least is one of the pieces of art that I get asked about the most over on Instagram and it is my Tommy Shelby art piece. My best friend got me this art piece for one of my birthdays because the quickest way to my heart is to buy me a piece of art. Oh my god that rhymed my mind. This Tommy Shelby art piece is actually not available anymore. I will link the artist down below, but they do not sell this piece of art anymore. But I am obsessed with Peaky Blinders. It's one of my favorite shows of all time and I cannot recommend it enough. I feel like I've had at least about 50 people watch Peaky Blinders because of me and every single person who has watched it has told me that they are absolutely obsessed with it. So while he is breaking up this Hollywood collage because it's not a movie that he's in, he's in a TV show, Show, I still wanted to have Tommy Shelby a part of this collage because I love the style of this piece and I just think it's stunning and every time it is featured in one of my photos on Instagram people are always hounding me asking me where I got it but it is one of my prized possessions because I'm so glad that my best friend was able to gift it to me before it was unavailable because I think it's one of my favorite pieces of art that I'll probably never take down from my room. So those are all the pieces of art that are featured around my room I will be sure to try and link every single artist down below but a lot of these pieces of art were gifted to me so I do not know who drew these pieces of art if you have any questions whatsoever put them down below and I will be sure to answer your questions thank you so much for watching this video and if you have not subscribed so already be sure to do so to support me and to see videos from me in the future be sure to follow my Instagram because you will probably see these pieces of art featured on my stories there all the time if you have any other like home decor or lifestyle type of video ideas that you want to see put those ideas down below and I might film a video all about it if you have made it this far in the video comment down a little painting emoji down below I know there is one I know there is one and it's really cute and it's never used so let's use it down below to see who stays for the longest amount of time in my video I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you around bye